We definitely always listen to jazz when we write graffiti. New York jazz, fast jazz. Star 67 tradition. Yeah. I want everything to go smooth. I want me and everyone else to be able to like do our graffiti and go home and sleep in our beds and be able to wake up in the morning and be like, yeah, like I went in last night. When you're out there, like shit is graceful. But a lot of shit comes with writing graffiti. There's a lot of shit that people don't realize, like all the shit we we use, we either have to buy or, or fucking steal that shit, you know? Not to mention, we go through thousands of cans a year. It's 5.25 in the morning. We, we started at what, one? And hit Mad Spots. Everywhere we wanted, actually. It was perfect, I'm really happy with it. This is nothing but tags and outlines from people I don't know. And this is a wall that gets buffed a lot. A quick fill-in to show that I'm active and I'm out here, which a lot of people are not. <laughs> we just hit the first spot, which we weren't even meant to hit. We just rolled by and it was seeming like it needed some fill-in, so we rocked it. My name is Reezy. My name's Nayo. My name is Lance. Young Bashington. Bash. Star 67 started about a year ago. But we were in New Orleans. We all decided to go as, as a group together. And it, on the flight, I was talking to Bash about and Lance about, hey, like we should make this crew. We've been painting together long enough. Like it's going to be a crew where none of us are prez, but we all have like shares in it. And he comes up to me like, Yo, man, like, I think Star 69 would be a cool one. And I was like, I think it's Star 67, bro. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that's it. And then from there, like, it was just on. We were all collectively doing this. I think that's one of the best things about us because there's not many other crews in New York City that are doing that. going now is like these spots that we scoped out the other night where like the Bushwick Collective usually does views. Yeah, I remember like living in this neighborhood like a block down and I would see like tags and throws on the wall and it'd, it'd get buffed every few months but it's still like show me what was happening in the neighborhood and then now when like murals go over that it's like I lose that forever and now they have to look at like whatever this one person who's not even from New York, like wants to do on their block. And it's just kind of like infringing. These used to be like highly trafficked walls that everyone, because of where it is. And that's the reason they put it there. But they're just stealing the space. That shit was ours. That shit was where all the history is. I don't really know what the stuff we're going over says, but we didn't even really look at it because we could see from the way it was done that it wasn't like name-based graffiti. Yeah, we do a lot of self-policing. We all see what's going on. We're not blind. Like, if someone does something stupid, we're going to call them out. Yeah. It's all one big-ass fucking game. Just get your name big and go as hard as you can. Shading the crew. And we're done. It's, it's really hard to have like an original throw too though because it is. if your shit is like all recycled letters, you know, and uh, there's no originality to it, it's fucking, that shit is boring. It's gotta be simple with a little bit of flavor, you know, yeah, but mad legible. You just have to like trudge through all the bullshit and just like keep working at it and working at it till it's so redundant, you almost hate it. And then you're gonna have a breakthrough we are like, wow, this is dope. Like, I want to keep rocking this. A lot of people don't do vertical tags. That's why I do them. They're wasting space. A lot of people would only try and fit like a sideways tag there. You go down the whole, take up the whole thing. Anybody can paint really clean, but you can't teach style. That shit doesn't come out of the can for you. You have to freak that shit yourself. Yo. Yo. Now I can hear you. 
They definitely mm -hmm. seen us. Alright. We're going past this car, right? Wait. Alright, let's wait. Are you saying anything though? Get in the car. What do you want to do? Go we'll start the car up. Oh. Lance, let's go. We good, we good, we good, we good, we good. Fuck it, let's go. Oh, dude. 4 a.m. No one else, just Ian and our boy, and just like, like looking at cars, just trying to see who's a cop, who's not. And it's really at that point when you're freezing your balls off, like, yo, what the fuck am I doing here? I could be home, <laughs> warm in bed, like asleep. It's like, but, I don't, yeah. I'd be wondering why I'm doing it, but when I don't do it, I feel some type of way. I don't feel good about myself, so. Did you check out like, that car? Tomorrow I'm gonna feel good about myself. Graffiti is the only art form that is completely pure. There is nothing in it. No one, if you talk to anyone, not us, not our crew, anyone who has done graffiti, they have gotten absolutely nothing from it. And most of us, like me, don't know exactly why we're doing it, but when we do it, it feels good. And it just seems like the right thing. And we're gonna continue to do it because of that. Thank <laughs> you.